Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to learn about Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras was uh, a very famous Greek philosopher and mathematician and he gave a very interesting property on right angled triangle and you will see it for yourself that how this property helped to uh, find solution to a lot of problems that involved a right angle triangle. So what this theorem stated was basically something like this. So he said that if you have a right angle triangle like this, let's now even before we talk about this theorem, let us first understand the uh, various terminologies related to a right angled triangle. So whenever you have any right angled triangle, Let's call this as A, B, C. So this A, B, C is a right angle triangle where you have one right angle that is 90 degree. Now the side which is opposite to this right angle that is this, this side A, C. This is called the hypotenuse. Now the base, this one is the base. And this one is called the perpendicular. So perpendicular, hypotenuse and base. These are the three sides of the right angle triangle. Okay. Now according to this theorem, it said that let's say that you have a right angle triangle such that the let's say the length of the hypotenuse is C, the length of the base is B and the length of the perpendicular is A. And if we assume that on each of these sides, on perpendicular base as well as hypotenuse, on each of them, if we assume that we draw a square, let's say we draw a square on the perpendicular. That means this, this square, each side of the square would be equal to A. Right? Similarly, let's draw a square on the base. So that means each side of this square would be B. And in a similar way, we draw a square on this hypotenuse. So here each side would be C. So as per this theorem, that the area of this square, that is what would be the area of this square? The area would be C square because area of a square is side into side. So area of this would be C square and area of this square would be B square. And area of this square would be A square. So according to Pythagoras theorem, C square is equal to A square plus B square. That is the area of the square which is drawn on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares which are drawn on the perpendicular and the base sides respectively. So this was the Pythagoras theorem. Now you might be wondering that how come he uh, uh, how, how come he was able to find out such a complicated relation because we started with a right angle triangle and then we draw we had drawn squares on each side of the triangle and then we have uh, you know kind of derived this relation. Well, this is not how it was derived. Now, this theorem can be proved in a number of ways. So here we will look at a proof of the Pythagoras theorem by rearrangement. So we will see that how we can rearrange triangles and we can prove that C square is equal to A square plus B square. That is hypotenuse square is equal to square of the base plus square of the perpendicular. So as per Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares on the legs. Legs would mean the base and the perpendicular. Now, even before we start proving Pythagoras theorem, let us try to understand why Pythagoras theorem? Why do we need this theorem? Where will this theorem help us? Now, let us think of an example. Let's say that you know how far your school is from your home. So this is your school and this is definitely your home. So you know the distance of your school from your home. Perfect. And you also know how far is the park from your school. So you know the distance of the school from your home. You also know the distance of the park from your school. Now let's say that on a holiday when you are at home, you feel like going to the park but you do not know the direct route of the park from your home because you always went to the park through your school. So what would you do? 
So this is something which you normally followed. You went to the school and from school you went to the park. Now on a Sunday when you feel like going to the park, do you think that you would like to follow this route wherein you first go to school and then you go to the park? Not really, right? You might feel like preferring a route where you can directly grow, go from your home to the park. So in that case, you might even follow this path. So in that case, now when you look at these, this entire root thing, you see that it is a right angled triangle. And in this right angled triangle, which is the hypotenuse, this is the hypotenuse. Let's call it H. And these are the other two legs. Let us call this as base. Let us call this as P. That is perpendicular. Now with the help of this relation, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two legs. Using these two relations, we can very easily find out this distance H. So that's how Pythagoras theorem can help us in real life problems. Let's say that you want to climb on ladder to reach out to the top shelves in your house. Maybe you want to find out a book from the top shelf where you cannot reach normally. So you need a ladder. Now, you are in a doubt that how exactly should, your, should you orient the ladder so that you can reach that specific height where you want to. Because it might be possible that the ladder is too long. So you actually need to orient it in a way that you are able to reach that particular height. So how would you decide that? So let's say this is your, this is the wall or these are the shelves and this is your ladder. So the orientation of the ladder would be decided by the distance of the foot of the ladder from the foot of the wall. So this distance, now this distance is nothing but your base, the Length of the ladder is nothing but h and this height, the, the desired height where you want to reach that height is let's say p. So again using the relation h square is equal to p square plus b square, you can actually decide where exactly you should place the ladder. So in this way, the Pythagoras theorem can actually help in a lot of real life problems and that is the significance of Pythagoras theorem. In fact, based on Pythagoras theorem, a lot of other mathematical relations had been proved later. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.